Good morning everyone. Magandang umaga po sa ating lahat. It's another day and we have it's an algebra speed word problem. It goes this way. Mark walked to school at 4 miles an hour, then immediately biked home at 24 miles an hour. If the whole round trip was 40 minutes, what was his average speed? Now let's start analyzing the problem. So you should Mark walked to school at, at uh, four miles an hour and for whatever reason he need to go back immediately home so the speed was uh, 24 miles an hour and he used his bike so he biked home immediately that means he wasted no time after realizing that he he had to go back home he grabbed a bike and started biking home with a speed of 24 miles an hour and the whole round trip was 40 minutes so that's the whole round trip now uh, the problem is uh, we we need to find the uh, the average speed when it comes to average speed in this kind of problem uh, we have two two scenarios the one is the biking I mean uh, the walking and then the next one is the biking so that covers that that covered 40, 40 minutes for the whole trip so to find the average speed we might be tempted to get to the just the average this to speed right here but uh, that should not be the case is because uh, walking takes a lot longer than biking so to get the average speed we have to find we have to compute the uh, the distance from from the school to home to to Mark's home, or vice versa, by biking and and walking. But since uh, you get to school and back immediately, and it that that distance from home to school actually is the same when biking, and that's uh, the same as when he walked also to uh, to school. So that's the same distance. So from there, we can derive equation out of that already. And now once again, uh, this kind of problem, uh, speed word problem, normally appears at standardized uh, exams and some board exams for engineering or mathematics. Uh, and uh, for those uh, joining high schools, probably they can encounter this kind of problem also related to this. That means uh, that might be included also that may appear in SAT, SAT, exams the same way all right let's go down to uh, the to our lesson first we have to have a formula again since this is speed uh, we have to get down to the formula to uh, to solve this problem so what's the formula for speed again formula for speed is uh, distance is velocity times time or distance is rate times time the same way letter S stands for distance V stands for speed time uh, T uh, stands for time the same way over here distance is, ra distance is D rate is uh, the speed R time is T in this problem we're, since we're looking for an average speed and we got walking the other one biking so we cannot just average that both the speed right there 4 4 plus 24 divided by 2 the, it won't work that way so since uh, it takes longer to to walk to school than biking so we should consider the uh, consider the whole distance distance walked and the distance biked let's indicate the variable over here now uh, v sub a is the average speed that's what we need to find out. Get a formula out of that uh, uh, based on the problem. To get the average speed, we need to find the total distance and the total time. So that we can, since we're using this formula, S stands for distance, V stands for speed, T, time travel. We adapt this uh, formula right here. So S is, is V, T. So since we're, we're looking for average speed, so we need to get uh, Total distance equals average speed and time total. 
where s total is distance total it's total total time walking and biking that can be total is equal to v average and time total that's the first equation that we have right there let's uh, consider uh, walking first so let's by walking we have the distance walking s w equals speed walking plus time walking so since is w b w t w we have those that's distance walking speed walking and time time walking so the distance walking is w and what's the uh, is speed walking that's four miles that's four miles an hour times time of walking that's our second equation first one that's, that's the first equation right there now the second equation now let's uh, consider biking so biking so s distance biking equals speed biking b time biking so the same way same way as that speed biking uh, all right speed biking over here distance biking and time of biking substitute the value so is uh, distance biking is is b equals what's the speed yeah, biking that's 24 miles an hour times time biking that's equation two right there equation two since that one is equation one now it's, it's equation three so out of this uh, two and three equations uh, distance walking and distance biking is the same so that's the analysis of that one right there so s w equals s b distance walking is equals uh, distance biking so that's that can be another equation right you just put another equation right there now what's being asked in this problem is the average speed so we have to go back to this equation one right here we have to find the average speed right here by considering the back and forth walking and biking so that involves total distance and in total time since we know the total time we have to find for uh, the distance uh, total distance so we can get the average speed so st total time we can get this total time by by solving uh, this uh, equating this uh, distance uh, walking and distance biking that's in terms of total uh, in that in terms of the time and speed so let's do that so what we have to do now is uh, substitute one and two I mean two and three this one and, and this one to this equation four so SW is 40 or distance uh, walking is four times time walking and uh, distance biking is is 24 T 24 TB time biking so from here we can derive time biking or time walking either way so what we have right time walking is equal to 24 time biking times time biking over 4 so that is equal to so simplify that to 24 over 4 is 6 6 TB so TW time walking is equal to 6 times time biking we have that we consider the whole trip that means time time walking plus the time biking is equal to the total time so that should be our equation 5 equation 5 so from here equation 5 TW plus TB is equal to total T and we found that TW is equal to 6 TB and uh, total time we found that as uh, part of the given so T total is uh, 40 minutes right 40 minutes and we have to convert that into hour because uh, our speed is miles per hour so divide by 60 minutes equivalent to one hour 
you notice you can sell minutes right there and what we have left right there now is the value of, of total time in terms of hours so zero zero cancel then divide by two you married there you know, divide by two in the denominator that's two and this three what we have left is that's two-thirds hour two-thirds of an hour we found those uh, values already we have total time we have time walking we just substitute those values into equation five so we substitute them tw is 60b time biking plus tb time biking is equal to total time is two-thirds of an hour simplify 60b plus 1 is 70b equals two-thirds tb is equal to two-thirds but by seven and that is equal to two over 21 so two divided by 21 that's the value of tb write down over here now tb is 2 over 21 now let's consider biking since we found the value of time biking already that's 2 over 21 so we, all we have to do is substitute the value of tb to here to find the distance once we find the distance we can find the value of average speed all right let's do that so distance biking equals time biking is 2 over 21 time the speed what's the speed 24 miles an hour so that is equal to 48 over 21 so distance uh, biking is the same as distance uh, walking right so that's 48 over 21 that's miles so from equation one so we found that uh, sb already distance biking that's the same as the distance walking so, so SB is equal to S walking. So S total is twice the distance biking or is equal to twice distance walking. So substitute from, from equation one, we have total, we found this one already, twice as that. And we found this total already, total time. We had that as a given, by the way, and now we found distance total so all we have to do is substitute to that distance total is twice the distance biking or twice the distance walking so twice times two times what's the distance biking 48 over 21 is equals to average speed so VA times total time is given two-thirds of an hour so we simplify further is of A is equal to just yeah. VA Cross multiply 2 times 3 times 48 all over 2 times 21 all you have to do is simplify right it's cancel this 2 right here comes to 1 3 over 21 that's what's that 7 right here 1 there so we end up with what's the value of uh, average speed now it's 48 over 7 right 48 over 7 and what's that 48 over 7 6 point 86 867 as MPH VA is equals to 6.87 miles per hour. So that is our answer. So that ends our lecture. If you like this video, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe button, and share. So we can help other people around there who learn algebra also or those people who would like to learn mathematics in their own way by just following my lectures. So I will put a link in the description below on all other word problems I've solved already so you can find that out yourself also. So thank you very much and all of you guys have a great day. Maraming salamat po.